Is DAX becoming redundant in Power BI? Are there better ways to get the same results? Today I'm going to walk you through a few scenarios where you don't have to write complex DAX and you'll get the same results. Why? Because there are instances when time is of the essence, where performance is essential, and the DAX measures will become too complicated. But before we start, let me tell you that channel members have early access to all the videos plus some other perks, like a video where I will show you three ways in which you can use the feature that I'm about to show you. I'll tell you more about this later. We'll start with this table where we have five DAX measures ranging from simple to more advanced. We have sales, running total, percentage of total, moving average, and sales difference versus previous month. As you can see, some of them require quite a complex logic to get the desired result. Let's see if we can get the same result quicker and easier. Let's start with the running total. Right click on the table and select new visual calculation and then running sum. Now we need to select the field this calculation will be based on and in this case it will be sales current month. Press enter and you have your result. It's exactly the same result as from your measure, but with less effort. Now let's see if we can simplify this percentage of total measure that looks like this. First, we calculate row by row the sales for each month and year. Then we calculate the sales, removing all the filters except the ones for the year. And finally, we'll calculate the percentage. Again, Right click and select new visual calculation, then percent of grand total. We need to select the fields that we will base the calculation on, and they will be sales current month again. And for the axis, we will select rows and press enter. Let's format the result in the properties of the visual to percentage. Again, same result, less work. Moving average, pretty much the same as before. How about calculating the sales difference to the previous month? Well, using DAX, you need to return the list of months, then calculate the current month, then the previous month, then calculate the sales for both current and previous periods, and finally return the result. It looks like a complicated logic with quite a few calculations. Whereas using visual calculations is as easy as defining two fields. So back to the first question. Is DAX becoming redundant? The answer is not straightforward and you need more information before deciding yes or no. What are the benefits of the visual calculations? Well, they are better performance-wise because they don't iterate to the whole semantic model, but only to the information available in the visual. And also, they are a lot easier to write. But they do have limitations. Number one. They only apply to one visual, they don't apply to multiple visuals on the same page like the measures. Number two, the result of a visual calculation cannot be exported if a user wants to. And number three, if the information is not in the visual, then it can't be used. Let me show you what I mean. Let's remove the sales measure from the visual. See, we get an error. And that's because the visual calculation only looks at the information available in the visual. Now, unlike the visual calculation, the measures are stored in the data model and they can be used multiple times, even on the same page or on different pages of a report. Also, the result of a measure can be exported if the user wants to. So, should you stop writing DAX? No, definitely not but you should reap the benefits of using visual calculation also. And as I said earlier, for those of you who wish to become channel members, I will have a special video where I will show you three ways in which you can use the visual calculations. More than that, channel members will have exclusive access to all the PBIX files that I used in my videos, along with commentary and explanations for each measure, Power BI tips and tricks, exclusive videos, and many more. Should you want to be part of this community, all you need to do is join us. If you found this video useful, don't forget to smash that like button and hit the notification bell and share this video with someone else who needs to see it. Until next time, 
This is Stallion signing off. Cheerio!